Hi guys, what's up? It's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. It has been so long. I actually can't even remember the last time that I sat down and filmed a favorites video. So that is what we're doing today. I'm going to be sharing all of my current faves with you guys. I have quite a few makeup products, some skincare products, some fashion items, and then also a couple like random miscellaneous favorites so i'm gonna be talking you guys through them why i've been loving them and if you guys do want to check any of them out for yourselves i'll have everything that is linkable linked down below in the description box i hope you guys enjoy this good old favorites video if you do make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any other upcoming videos from me before i get into my current favorites i want to just take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video which is karma now i've talked to you guys about karma before but in case you need a refresher karma now is an app and a chrome extension that ensures you never miss a price drop or a coupon code ever again if you don't already have karma downloaded on your phone or computer now is the perfect time to do so especially with the holidays coming up i don't know about you guys but i have a lot of shopping to get done for family and friends for the holidays so i've started saving some items for that holiday shopping or just items that i want to buy myself to karma so i like to shop on my computer so once you have the karma extension downloaded on chrome you can shop from any of your favorite stores and there will be a little blue button on the side of your screen so when you see an item that you want you click the little button and you can save that item to any of your wish lists and I love that you can organize all your items into different lists. So like I have a wish list for just fall and winter fashion. And then I have another one for holiday shopping for other people. When you go to save an item, you choose what color and size you want it in. And then you choose when to be notified. So I usually just do whenever there's a price change. And then you click which list you want to add it to and then you save it and that's it it literally takes like five seconds to save an item to your wish list it's so easy and i love that this allows you to save a bunch of different items into one wish list because i don't know if you guys do this but I'll always like shop on random websites and add items to the wish list on that website, but then I'll forget about it. So this way I can add items from a bunch of different websites into my Karma wish list, and then I can just go to my Karma app or karmanow.com and I can see my lists all right there and all my items from all these different websites are in one list. So it's really easy to remember what I saved and see it all together. Plus you'll be notified when any of them go on sale. The other amazing feature of Karma is that when you're going to check out on a website, Karma scans the web for coupon codes and automatically applies them at checkout. So you can always be sure you're getting the best price for whatever you're purchasing. It's so annoying to manually search the web for coupon code so karma makes my life so much easier and does it for me also when you shop from select retailers karma gives cash back to you and a good cause of your choice plus the best part is that it's completely free to download so there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't have karma downloaded on your phone or computer right now you guys can click the link in the description to download the karma shopping assistant for free it will seriously save you so much time and money so definitely check it out and thank you so much to karma Karma now for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so let's get into my current favorites. I think I'm gonna start with fashion favorites. I have a few items to show you guys. Starting with this jacket that I got actually while I was in Nebraska. I got it from the Shields there, which is like my favorite department store ever. It's only in the Midwest, I think only in Nebraska, but the brand is actually Free People. So it's this Sherpa teddy coat that's like also kind of a moto jacket style i remember a couple of years ago when like the img teddy coat exploded and it was like the biggest thing ever and then i feel like teddy coats kind of went out of style for a little bit but this year i'm sensing a comeback of the teddy coat i picked this one up it's just in this tan color and it has all these like zipper details and this little belt detail at the bottom so it's like that moto jacket style i'll put it on now so you guys can see better i've literally worn this i think every day since i got it because it was so cold when i was in nebraska that i needed a heavy coat like this and now that i'm back home it's really cold here so i've been wearing it like when i go to take london on a walk and i just need to throw on something warm it's so cozy and it's actually like 
a really practical coat because it's super super warm like i'm starting to sweat in this right now but besides it being like super functional it is also really really cute i love like the moto jacket style because i haven't really seen a lot of teddy coats combined with a moto jacket so i feel like it's unique and different and i already know i'm going to be getting a ton of wear out of this so i've been loving this coat lately you can get it on free people's website i checked today and it's available next fashion favorite are actually the earrings that i'm wearing right now this is kind of a little update from a vlog that i posted recently i showed you guys that i bought these little made well gold hoops i bought two pairs of them and you guys were asking me for an update on how i like them because i had mentioned that i have really sensitive ears to most cheap earrings i have spent so much money on gold hoops but i don't like buying expensive gold hoops because i tend to lose them but most of the cheap or affordable hoops that i've tried really hurt my ears when i wear them for too long but i heard amazing things about the madewell hoops so i decided to check them out and they did not disappoint i have worn them like all day and they haven't made my ears feel uncomfortable at all i've been loving these little twisty ones that i got i've been wearing them a lot because i actually didn't already have any gold hoops that looked like this. They have a ton of different sizes and styles of gold hoops that are all just classic. You guys know I love a gold hoop. I wear them pretty much every day and I think they just elevate any outfit and all of their hoops range from like 20 to 25 dollars so they're super affordable so yeah just wanted to update you guys i've been loving these they are definitely a big big favorite right now so if you're looking for cute affordable gold hoops definitely check out madewell next fashion fave or just like lifestyle favorite i guess are definitely my blue light glasses I've shown these in many vlogs already. The ones I have are from Key. These have been a lifesaver for work. Now that I work full time from home, I wear these every day. I'm literally staring at a screen for at least eight hours a day. And then if I have like YouTube editing on top of that, it's even more. So blue light glasses are super important to protect your eyes from that screen. But also I love them because I've stopped wearing makeup when I'm working from home because I'm just too lazy. And so whenever I have a Zoom call with my team, I throw on my blue light glasses and they cover up half my face and I just feel like I look a lot better with them than I do without them. And they really hide my like dark under eye circles. I love like the clear frames. I think they look super cute. They're like the perfect size for my face. So I've been getting a ton of use out of these lately and really love them. Okay, let's talk about beauty favorites. So I'm gonna start with makeup favorites and i have several items from one brand and just like kind of an overall favorite makeup brand at the moment is charlotte tilbury i've always loved charlotte tilbury but during fashion week this year i got to go into their office in manhattan and they gifted me with a ton of products so like i was so grateful and excited to try them out so these are just a few standouts but like literally everything i've tried from them i've loved starting with the airbrush flawless finish powder i have the shade medium and during my makeup process i actually don't like set my entire face with powder when i set like my concealer i always use the laura mercier translucent powder because i like to use like a loose setting powder to set my concealer but this comes into play at the end of my makeup and like throughout my night when i'm wearing makeup because i will touch up wherever i get oily or shiny with this which that usually happens like around my nose or kind of like anywhere in my t-zone literally anytime i go out now i throw this in my bag with a little brush and i take it with me and this is basically just like my touch up mattifying powder i love this because you can like cake this on but it'll never look cakey like i will reapply this five times throughout the night but it'll never look super heavy or powdery flawless finish is the perfect name for it because it literally just makes your skin look airbrushed there are like no pores it just makes your skin look flawless so if you need a good setting or like touch up powder highly recommend this one another favorite from charlotte tilbury is their airbrush bronzer i bought this one with my own money like quite a while ago because I needed a replacement for my Marc Jacobs bronzer. I used to use the Marc Jacobs Omega whatever bronzer. I don't know if they discontinued that bronzer altogether, but they stopped selling it at Sephora 
And so the one I had broke. So I went into Sephora one day to replace it. And they were like, yeah, we don't sell that anymore. So I basically asked the lady, like, what is the closest thing that I can get to that bronzer? And she recommended this one. It is, like, really, really similar, like, down to the packaging. It has this huge pan with a huge mirror. I have it in the shade medium. I'm wearing it on my face right now as my bronzer. And it just is, like, the perfect shade because it's nice and warm. It makes you look really tan and sun-kissed. But it doesn't come across as, like, super orange. This has been the only like powder bronzer that I've been using lately. And then the last Charlotte Tilbury product is their Cheek to Chic Blush. This is in the shade Pillow Talk and it looks like this. It's like two-toned. And this has basically been a blush and highlight in one for me. Lately, I've been into a more subtle highlight. So that's why I've been loving this product because I will just kind of mix together the blush and the highlight shades onto one brush and sweep them onto my cheeks and I'm wearing it now and doesn't it kind of look like I'm wearing a highlight but I'm actually not like the only highlight I have on is from this so it gives your cheeks a really nice color while also adding this like glowy shine that doesn't look super like chunky or sparkly it's very subtle but i think like it makes a really big difference overall so i don't even reach for any other highlights anymore i just use this and it's like a two-in-one product for me so i've been loving this blush slash highlight and then i have two other makeup favorites to show you so first is actually an eyeshadow palette this is the morphe artistry palette i don't know like what the name of it is called but i'll have it linked down below but it's just one of these little palettes with nine shades in it i am not a huge eyeshadow wearer like on the day-to-day -day, i usually don't wear eyeshadow but what i've been doing lately especially like at night just to kind of darken up my eyes a little bit more and make my makeup more like nighttime appropriate i've been using either a black or a dark brown eyeshadow on like a flat edge eyeshadow brush and kind of doing like a little wing i suck at doing like a liquid eyeliner wing i haven't been able to do that since like high school so using like a really dark eyeshadow is a really easy way to like achieve that look so this palette has been perfect for travel or just to reach for when i need either a black or a dark brown i use like this center one and then there's some other really nice just like neutral brown shades to put into the crease and then there's some shimmers that i will sometimes throw on my lid or as like an inner corner highlight shimmery moment um so i've been getting a ton of use out of this palette and i love how small it is morphe palettes are super affordable and their eyeshadows are really nice quality really easy to work with the last makeup favorite i wanted to shout out is the anastasia brow freeze i know like everyone already knows about this but i've had this for a while now and at first i honestly didn't love this because i couldn't figure out like the best way to use it but now i've really gotten the hang of it and now i like can't do my makeup without this i found that the best way to use this is at the beginning of my makeup so before i do any foundation any face makeup i do my eyebrows and so i'll either lightly fill them in with a pencil and then set them with this or i'll skip filling them in all together and just go in with the brow freeze and i bought like a hundred pack of little spoolies off amazon for like two dollars and i just use those to dip into here and this is basically just glue for your eyebrows let me get close here so you guys can see my eyebrows better but this is kind of how i go for that like brushed up laminated look that's like really in right now so i just take the brow freeze and really like flatten and brush my eyebrows up and when you use this your eyebrows will not budge throughout the day and i just really love the way that this makes my brows look and sets them so i have been loving this it's like the only thing i use to set my eyebrows anymore moving on to a couple of skincare favorites the first one that i wanted to shout out is this tula rose glow and get it cooling and brightening eye balm i know i've talked about this pretty in depth in a recent video so i won't talk your ear off about it but it's basically just a little stick eye balm that you put underneath your eyes and kind of blend it out with your finger and i have been loving this on no makeup days which is pretty much every day for me now this will visibly brighten your under eyes it kind of has like a shimmery 
finish to it so something about the way this like makes the light reflect off your skin it just makes your under eye circles like way less noticeable and i just feel like for those work from home days like i don't need concealer when i use this instead and it literally takes five seconds to apply like it's so quick so yeah i think this is a really like unique product and i've just been loving it lately another current favorite is the paula's choice bha liquid exfoliant i'm sure a lot of you guys have already tried this but this product is incredible i use it twice a week and you basically just like pour a few drops onto your hands rub them together and then like kind of press it into your skin and this product contributed so much to clearing up my skin and also just like evening out my skin and reducing texture i used to get a lot of just like little bumps and texture on the bottom of my cheeks here and this has helped smooth out my skin so much. I cannot recommend this product enough. The last kind of like skincare beauty product that I wanted to shout out is this lip balm. It's called the Dr. Paw Paw Original Balm. I don't know if like everyone knows about this already and I'm just late to the game, but this is like the best lip balm I've ever tried. My friend actually gave this to me, so I didn't even buy this, but I looked it up and it's like $8. And it's literally just a little balm. I'm wearing it right now. Now that it's already almost winter, I can already feel my lips getting really dry so I decided to reach for this and try it out and it literally makes my lips feel so hydrated it's like the perfect little tube to just throw in your purse carry with you everywhere so if you're needing a good just like cheap lip balm to use and save you from having chapped lips this winter check out this one those are all of my beauty favorites now i just have two more like random miscellaneous favorites to share with you guys the first one has to be my hatch alarm clock i got this several months ago i think actually in the summertime and it has just changed my life it basically it does a million different things it does function as an alarm clock obviously my favorite thing about it is the sleep routine it's all connected through an app so you set up your own personalized sleep routine on the app mine is a 10 minute meditation and then it goes into like white noise sleep sounds throughout the whole night until my alarm goes off in the morning but you can set it to be whatever you want you can have it set up to be like 20 minutes of reading time you can do like a longer meditation you can go straight into sleep sounds like it's whatever you desire it's also like a night light and you can set the light to like a million different colors and different intensities and then you can also have it wake you up with really like peaceful relaxed relaxing morning noises it's just so like luxurious and it's really a whole experience it is a little pricey but this would be a good thing to like ask for for christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate coming up definitely save this to karma because i bet you it will go on sale sometime during like black friday or something but yeah it's really like changed my life like not to be dramatic but i love my hatch alarm clock it's incredible my last favorite is actually a beverage if you guys are 21 and up and you're looking for a good seltzer to sip on that is better than white claws better than truly better than literally any other seltzer that i've ever tried check out the corona refrescus not to be confused with the corona seltzers there are like regular corona seltzers and those are fine but the corona refrescus hit so different they are so good they come in like a 12 pack with three different flavors so there's passion fruit lime guava lime and coconut lime i'm not a huge fan of the coconut lime just because i don't personally love like coconut flavors but the passion fruit and the guava are so good you guys i discovered these a while ago like i think in the beginning of summer i'm not even a huge seltzer drinker but sometimes it is nice like if you're day drinking or if you just want something to slowly sip on these are the best highly highly recommend the corona refrescas okay guys those are all of my current favorites that i wanted to share with you i hope maybe you discovered at least one new product or item that you want to check out from this video make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow me over on instagram to keep up with more of my day-to-day -day life over there thank you guys so much for watching i love you all so much and i will talk to you very soon in another new video bye